What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again giving you the information that you ask me for. Make sure you go to the ChazEllisProject.com, get access to the free live stream that I'm going to be doing March 15th, um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's called The Lost Art of Perseverance. I'm going to be talking about how to rebuild yourself, also how to um, keep going when things are uh, when negative things happen to make your goals come true. Some people have asked me a lot about those things, and I'm going to really do a live stream to help out. So also go to the ChazEllisProject.com if you want to get a consultation, ask a quick question, um, or just make a donation to keep us going. Also go to uh, Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook, too. And you can be a part of some of the discussions that we're having. Anyway, um, it's, it's funny because I was doing a... Um, consultation with somebody. I've done a couple um, consultations, a quick question with this person and um, it's been basically about um, no contact. You know, using the no contact method. We've kind of gone back and forth a lot about that and they just gave me an update story and I'm not going to go too personal so you don't know what I'm talking about but they gave me an update story saying you know, just how the no contact method has really worked for them and really freed them. You know, they're like, you know, professionally they've been doing ridiculously better. Um their personal lives have also improved, and they just say, you know, this is weight lifted the weight off of me, and you know, saved me a lot of time and energy. Well, that's the thing. Really, the no contact method can change and improve your life, because for some of you who may not know what the no contact method is, it's basically when you feel like somebody's playing games and not giving you what you really want. You just stop talking to that person, and you just stop connecting with them. Once you do that, what happens is you start to free yourself from the bonds of dealing with this person and wondering what they're going to do next, um, talking to them. Because you got to remember, we don't just waste the time that we talk to that person. We don't just waste the average of two hours a day that we might spend with that person. We waste the time we're waiting for that person to call, the time we're thinking about what they said when we talk to them, the time that we go back and forth texting them, mostly arguing about you know, how they've been treating us or the games that they're playing. We waste the time that we don't want to go out with our friends and stuff because we're too depressed about the way that this person has been treating us and how they've been talking to us or dogging us or, you know, totally ignoring us or whatever the case may be. We waste so much time thinking about this other person and thinking about how we're being treated by this other person that often we might waste 8 to 12 hours a day just on the not even talking to the person, just on the aftermath of some of the things that they've done to us or some of the ways that they've been treating us. Sometimes we just waste, you know, large amounts of time, um, you know, just dealing with the situation, uh, checking on their Facebook or their Twitter or Instagram, trying to see what they're doing, you know, trying to find out what's happening, you know, why they or what are they doing now or where are they going or you know, things of that nature. A lot of times we just waste, you know, days after days after days, weeks after weeks after weeks, months sometimes, just dealing with that crap. And it's crazy because when we stop, when we decide to say, you know what, I don't want to contact you anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm going to take this time and work on me and work on the things that I want to accomplish and the things that I want to do. What often happens is we open up a whole new world for ourselves of things that we've been neglecting people that we haven't been talking to, friends that we haven't been spending any time around because we've been so worried about this other person who is clearly playing games, clearly not willing to give us what we want. We start putting, spending more time on ourselves and more times on our career. I remember this person that I was talking to said, you know, there was time that I really, I probably would have missed out on this opportunity that I got in my career because I was spending so much time worried about them, you know, with my head buried in what they're doing. But now that I've lifted my head up and I'm doing some different things, I'm not worried about them anymore. It, um, I have time for these things. <clears throat> and I can take advantage of these career opportunities. I can take advantage of people who want to be around me and spend time with me. I'm not letting this person occupy my time. So no contact really gives you the opportunity to start expanding your own life and not worry. It's because you're not spending so much time worried about them and what they're doing trying to decipher these cryptic messages that they're giving you and things of that nature. You're not spending so much time on them. Now you can spend time on you. That's the whole point of the no contact method. And this person was also telling me, they were like, you know, they've come back around. It's all come full circle. Now they're trying to be in a relationship with me. And I don't know if I want to even do that. You see, a lot of times when you get yourself right and you start worrying about you, 
what happens is the other person sees how bright your light is shining and they go and they're thinking to themselves, oh, well, this is getting away from me because clearly they're not sitting at home worried about me. They're probably not, you know, checking my Facebook every five minutes. They're living their lives. So that means that they're escaping. And when a person sees that, a lot of times they see the window closing and now some of the stuff that you were begging for before, you know, now they're asking you to do that because they don't see, they know that you're not going to beg again. So that's one of the biggest things about the no contact method is it can really change your life and it can really open up some things for you because you have to think about how much time you're really spending trying to figure out a person who doesn't even seem like they really want to be with you. So hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Make sure you get access to the free live stream. Um, the Lost Art of Perseverance is going to be March 15th, this Sunday um, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you check that out. Also, make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else.